Okay, continuing on with the same uh, stock and bond portfolio as before. Um, now I'm going to find the expected return for the portfolio as a whole. So we know the expected return for um, equities and we know the expected return for bonds. We've got the weight, 50% of each. So now, um, given this data, I want to find the expected return of the portfolio, which is going to be equal to the uh, weight, <clears throat> it's going to be equal to the weight of stocks <clears throat> multiplied by the, okay, so I'm going to put each in, in brackets to make it a bit more clear. So the first bracket are stocks, so the weight of stocks multiplied by the expected return on stocks. Bracket that. Plus the weight of bonds multiplied by the expected return on bonds. So what you can probably tell already is is the um, the expected return is a, is a lot more simple than the um, the expected um, the, than the covariance between the between the two portfolio items because the uh, the expected return is really a simple weighted average um, of the returns of the portfolio components in this case the equities and the bonds uh, whereas the covariance figure is usually lower than the um, weighted average of the portfolio standard deviations. So expected return on portfolio, let's input the, the figures to come to an answer. So the, um, I'll use the same color code. So uh, the weight of equities is 0 0.5 multiplied by the expected return 7.5 percent well in fact I'll, I'll enter it as a number so 7.5 percent will be 0 0.075 plus the weight of bonds was 0 0.5 half multiplied by the return on bonds the expected return is 4 percent so I'm going to enter that as a number as well, 0 0.04. Okay, and now we simply have to follow through. And we're going to end up with, so half of 7.5% um, is 3.75%. So the stocks are 0. 0, 0.03 it's going to be 2 so half times 4% is 2% so add the two together and the expected return of the portfolio is equal to 2% 2 plus 3.75 is 5.75 percent 5.75 percent and that's the expected return